Hey folks, Matt from IreTheImage.com, Toxic Tabasco, uh, who's a, a continual contributor, great uh, viewer here, always has some interesting feedback. I enjoy uh, conversing with Toxic. Um, he says, this is in regards to my video on the Samsung Q2U and the um, ATR uh, mic from um, Audio-Technica. The, the two that I was looking at, what was the name? The ATR2100. They're both USB mics. So I was looking at those more for podcasting. Um, and he says, those sound like great value mics. He says, if you're in a controlled environment with good acoustics, the AT2020 USB is just as good as your current XLR AT2020, which is this one here. And I love this mic. Um, and I was also considering using a converter XLR to USB. Um, and I think you can get those for around 10 bucks. So I might try that first. Although to me, unless you're going into something, I don't know how I would do that and still get phantom power. That kind of boggles my mind a little bit. Anyways, um, however, if you're going to record in a loud noisy environment, the dynamic mics will be better for close mic recording to minimize background noise, which I think probably is the situation, which is probably why so many people like the dynamic mics. Also, the USB condensers like the AT2020 USB run off phantom power and will eat up your laptop battery versus the dynamic mics without phantom power. And that's a good point I hadn't really thought about too, which is also why I'm not too sure how the converter cable works because the AT2020 USB mic or um, USB condenser mics that are similar, they got to get phantom power from somewhere. So if it's coming through the USB, I could see it is going to eat up your battery power. So... Um, yeah, I guess if you're plugged in on your laptop, not a big deal, but there's probably a lot of situations where you might want to use it and just be on batteries because you might not have uh, a cord available to you. So good points from Toxic Tabasco. Thank you very much. Um, so if you're considering mics like I am, the Samsung Q2U or the ATR2100 from Audio Technica, and I should have, I think I've got the Samsung coming in shortly, so I should be able to do some mic tests for you. Um, interesting options there. Um, and then, of course, you can take an XLR AT2020 and run it through something like the Zoom H4, which is what I have it going into right now. And then I think you can go out from the Zoom to USB that way, too, because it's providing your phantom power, and then you're just hooking up through USB. I may actually want to consider that. I may need a, uh, I'll probably need a USB extension cord to, uh, to get into the laptop. But then, of course, that's one more step, and I'm looking for simple and easy, so I think the dynamic mics are the way to go. Anyways, some great feedback from Toxic. Thanks, folks. If you have any questions or comments to that, leave them below. USB mics versus different ways to do it, and condenser mics and dynamic mics. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at IrtoTheImage.com.